In this video, I'll be showing you a wonderful introduction to the new tile map in Godot 4. As you can see here, I have a little tile map. And what we're going to be setting up, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up the terrain, a stone ground. And here, as you can see, we now have an auto tile. It's not very good, but it does kind of work. Um, I will show you the outline as to how this exactly works. I will try to explain it the best I can. So that way you can actually do this for your own tile set. You can actually customize it to your own tile set. You can understand how it works and you can play around with it and create your own cool tile set. Okay. So I'm going to leave this tile map on the side here. I'm going to make it invisible and we're going to work with the tile map too, as you can see. So here I have a, let's find the stone ground. This is the tile map I'm going to be working with. It's not the best tile map. It's actually incomplete as you could, you saw previously. It doesn't work perfectly, but it does work well enough for me to make this tutorial. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> okay. So first thing we want to do is create a tile set. The cell quadrant, I might be wrong. No, I want to keep it at 16. I'm going to open up the tile set. We're going to create the tile size to 32 by 32. Let me double check. That's right. Yeah because you want to check your tile set and, and see what size this is. So the tile sets here, for example, this one, it's hard to highlight, but this little tile set here is 32 pixels by 32 pixels. This is just something you're gonna have to know beforehand. There's no good way for me to help you check that on Godot. So you're gonna have to know that. If you don't, then I don't know how to help you. So the tile shape is gonna be square. There's a few different options, but this one's gonna be square because it's a square tile set. I don't know what to tell you. So terrain, uh, we're going to create a terrain set. What a terrain set is, is just going to essentially is a terrain. So let's say like we have a grass terrain or water terrain or lava terrain, right? So those are different terrains that you might want to have. And what we can do is add a element in that terrain. So we can have dirt or grass or whatever you want. So this one is just going to be stone. So we're going to set this not stone stone. There we go. So stone, you can set the color to it to have it uh, customized. We'll just do like gray. If I can find a grayish color. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Good enough. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so that's the stone terrain that we've created. So now what we're going to do is go back to tile set and our tile set is completely empty right now. So what we want to do is drag the tile set we have into here and it's going to actually automatically configure it for us. So that's awesome. So now what we want to do is select everything that we want to, uh, ooh, let me, okay, sorry. So you should not have had paint. You should be here. So now what you're going to want to do is go to paint. Paint is where we're going to basically be editing things. So paint is essentially not just for trains, but for everything, for physics, probability, whatever. Uh, one good thing is like why sort, I, I sometimes play around with this, um, not for 2d top down, but maybe for a platformer or uh, physics is also really good. Um, I think if you add collision to a node, it'll be there. So I'm not going to do that now, but that's where it would be. And there's a bunch of this paint is, is where you do most the node, uh, tile set configurations. So this is a good place to start. So let's go to terrain. We're going to zoom in. So here you would have to select which terrain you're working on and then the stone terrain. And then let's zoom in and basically you have to select each tile set that you're going to be working with. And so I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to explain how this tile set works or how auto tiling works. So the way auto tiling works <clears throat> is essentially you want to tell the engine, okay, that we're, this is a nine by nine or three by three. I think there's a way to also set it to change it. Let me find it. Nope. I will look for it later, but at the moment we have a three by three. If you don't have that, um, let me know in the comments. And I think there's a, a way later. I'll check that later. But, um, if you have these little squares, each tile has three by three little boxes. This box is essentially telling us, or we want to tell the, the engine. Okay. So if we have a tile here or a tile on the left and the right, so we have something connected to these tile sets then we want to put this on the top left, right? So if we have, let's say this one, we want this one to be in the middle of, of anything. That means we have to cover it completely around it. So that means we have to cover the entire thing. So this is basically telling the engine that we have something connecting to the top three and the top right and the top bottom and the top left, right? So that means there's a tile all around that tile, right? There's tiles around that tile, right? So now <clears throat> what we want to do is essentially 
highlight things that allow us to do that, right? So this one is a top tile. So that means we should only have that top tile on top of something where there's connect when it's connected to something on the left, but not on the top, something on the right, but not on the top, right? So we, we don't want this to be empty and we want something on the bottom completely, right? So essentially it'll look like this. Right? So we want this to be on the top of something on the left and right, but not here. So we don't want to highlight this or this because then this won't trigger. Right, So that's kind of how the tile set works. It's a bit complicated, but essentially for this guy, what we would want to do is something like this. So it would look something like this. I believe. Let me double check so we can go to the tile terrain here. Ooh, no, uh, tile set. We go here. Yeah, so it'll look like that. And that's basically how the tile... Uh, auto tiling for this works. So now what we can try is go to the tile map. So we've added, we've painted the tile set, tile set paint. We've added this, but now go to tile map. So if we want to paint on our tile map or we won't actually use our tile map, we go to tile map, go to terrains, stone, select this guy. Um, this is paint. This is bucket. This is rectangle. Let's actually do rectangle and see what we get. There you go. So there's a rectangle. It's auto tiled already. And so now we can create big tiles. And I think, yeah, so that's basically how we do it. And it even connects there. I don't think it's good. Yeah, it's not perfect because there's no corner. So it's we're not telling the engine which tile to put in the corner, right? So you kind of need to understand which tiles go where and kind of edit them as you're going along. So this is the, you most tile sets will have this. Most tile sets will have this square box and then you'll have other things like this. This is a single tile. So this would be like one. This is like a, a long tile. So you'd have like one long one. This is a long, another long one. Um, most tile sets should have one for each direction. So there should also be one that goes, um, oh, that's, no, that's wrong. That's it. That's right. So there's there's two <laughs> directions. So now what we can try is going here to stone. And so now what we can try doing is drawing a rectangle like that or a long one. And then we can also do left. And so that's how we do the auto tile, right? So if we can also do long, etc. So that's how we create a nice, easy tile map auto tile in Godot. I'm not going to do the rest. I can show you the tile set for this. I'll zoom out and you can pause the video and take a look at it if you would like. But each tile set is slightly different. And this tile set is not complete, um, mainly specifically because of this part, I believe. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really play around with it too much, but it does kind of work enough so that you can play around with it. But hopefully you guys kind of understand how auto, set, auto tiling works. Um, I'm not an expert on it. I'm not the best, but I kind of understand enough to get it to work. So hopefully you guys can get this to work for your game. If you can't, um, I would love to help you guys join my discord and I will do my best to help you. And we have a few other people who might be able to help. So definitely do that. Uh, the, 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 the discord will be in the description down below. So join that. I also have a Twitch. You should join. You should also sub to my channel if you're not, um, most of you are actually subbed, which is actually kind of cool. So over, I think 50% of you who watch my videos are subbed, which is awesome. So if you're one of those non 50%, um, you should definitely sub and like my video for the algorithm and go comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.